Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading from May 11th to the 18th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you click the subscribe button and become a part of our High Vibe community. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to have gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Mork, and to whom all my work is devoted to. I don't know what I was doing there. Anyways, let's get this party started and see what's going on for you, Sagittarius, for this week. The heck? All right, okay. So... Couple things to note, okay? I should I should have just spoken before I pulled out the cards because of cares. Hello, yes, you're coming through. Okay, um, we have um, the energy of Gemini uh, being impacted as Venus enters into Gemini. We also have uh, the new moon in Taurus um, opposite um, with Sagittarius in there. So there's a lot of energy in regards to, um, you know, things of that, that make us want to expand the excitement um the being able to see uh things from a different perspective being able to be adventurous free the desire to travel to experience things um without attachment and then there is this gemini energy of chatty chatty right like the social butterfly um the one that uh really um you know is able to be uh, witty. I was going to say witty gritty, but I don't know why. No, witty. So, um, you know, your energy is coming through here. We are coming on to eclipse season. Um, I was saying that because, you know, it's, eclipses always kind of like encourage us and, 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 and push us to be able to um, heal through, work through, and let go of things. Um, but sometimes it doesn't feel very easy, nor does it feel very comfortable. And look at that. Temperance and the Tower. Now, the Tower in Tarot is indicative of the earnest energy. And I was going to make mention to say, you know, as I've been doing these readings, there's a lot of earnest energy that's coming through for this week. I, I got to see what the placements for earnest are this week. If I see anything that um, is transiting, I will com put it in the comment section. Wait in the community section of the page, okay? Also, make sure you go follow me over on Instagram um, and TikTok for more astrology um, and other um, stuff like that. we got Temperance Tower, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, one, two, three, four, five, six. There you are again in the eight, nine, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Yeah, so look at this. You have Strength and the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes things have to fall apart so that better things can fall together. And that's the energy I'm seeing very clearly here for you this week. I actually feel like this week is going to be um, pretty pivotal considering we have three major arcana. And even the minor arcana are the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. That's pretty like heavy lifting. The Page of Pentacles talks about an opportunity. So I really would encourage you this week to keep an open mind, okay? Open mind, um, take off those blinders, be able to see things from different perspectives. Um, open yourself up to the idea that um, there may be more than meets the eye for you um, coming into your life or things that you're currently experiencing right now. I can give you an example of this um, where as you know, and I'm going to use a personal example without getting into too many details. I've been going through something that's made me feel very, um, very much like how could this happen and and how are people not being able to see the reality of this thing and i was talking to some other uh spiritualists spiritual teacher teachers gurus etc that are within my community and you know i was unloading myself and expressing emotionally how much i've been feeling over this and um one of the um gurus uh, that i was talking to said this to me he said charlene and I feel like this is a message that you need to hear too, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, what if the challenges that you are dealing with right now, no matter how much pain, no matter how much heartbreak, no matter how much sadness, um, remorse, and helplessness you're feeling right now, what if these things are happening so they can open doors into something else? Something where you'll be able to receive what you've been asking for or something where, um, you know, there's a greater good, but there has to be this these moments or these uh periods of uh, what we would consider suffering and sadness and difficulty and challenges so that you can break free from them and then open yourself up to these wonderful opportunities and to finally being able to receive what you've been asking from from the universe and 
as I'm saying this to you, I'm really hoping that it's resonating because the cards are, are speaking just that, right? You are showing up in the beginning of your reading, which is telling me that there's a lot of power here to you. There's a lot of, um, what's the word, momentum, there's energy, there's there's vibe, there's push from you here, okay? And temperance and tarot is all about the ebb and flow of the universe. It's alchemy, it's the balance, it's understanding, you know, to give, to take. It's also patience. And patience is a fucking virtue, if you ask me. Let me know how patience affects you in the comments below, okay? If you are like super patient or if you're impatient. And then after the tower, we have this 10, okay? This 10 of pentacles. This is something that you've been aspiring for. This is something that you've been desiring. This is something that you've been wanting. This is something that you have had your mind on. This is something that you potentially are really focused on during this time. Stability, financial, abundance, groundedness, rootedness, comfort in the home, being able to have and, and meet those financial goals and those uh, things that you consider necessary from a material perspective right so yeah you can have this yes this is becoming available to you having said that though between these two cards is that tower and the tower shakes up the tower is earnest it's neither good nor bad but the tower says we got this it's got to come down right and so this earnest energy this tower energy has to come down to clear the slate, to remove the blockages, to remove the limitations, to remove the things that have held you back. Maybe you're being called and pushed to become a better version of yourself. Maybe there's this opportunity for awareness, enlightenment, to reach a next goal in your life. But Sagittarius, at this time, there's something that's blocking you, right? And so the universe is saying, we, we don't want this blocking Sagittarius anymore. We're gonna cut through the BS. And this means that they will have to face X, Y, and Z, okay? And so, yeah, duh, of course, five of cups, right? Feeling loss, regret, remorse. Your mantra card is regret. I know that I cannot change the past, right? But what do you do then? What do you do if you can't change the past and there's things that are crumbling and it may make you feel like you're helpless or there's difficulties or there's challenges coming into your life at this current time, knowing knowing full well that these difficulties or these learning lessons are going to open up doors of opportunities for you down the road. Well, you stay grounded. You stay rooted. You stay nurturing. You stay motherly. You stay lovingly. You focus on the, the material things, but you also focus on the, on the um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? On the tangible things. I was going to say the realist things, but no, it's tangible things, okay? The tangible things, okay? The tangible things in your life that you can control because sometimes you have to surrender to everything else. Trusting and man trusting the universe sometimes can feel very hard. Trusting the universe has your back in this and it's doing things for the greater good. That page of pentacles tells me that in staying grounded, in staying very logical and balanced and methodical, um, and also very nurturing and grounded, you'll be able to see new opportunities because pages are messengers. And this is a messenger or an offer of sorts, an opportunity of sorts for a new way of thinking because look, there's seedings, right? That they're planting. There's a new harvest that's growing here. So, whoa, a shift in perspective could happen that will support you in your journey towards the long run. And, and as the week progresses, you do just that, Sagittarius. There's your energy again, moving forward, thinking quickly, propelling your energy towards new solutions, towards new ideas, to new passionate or creative projects, and, and embracing that fool, right? Vigorously and um, with a lot of enthusiasm, with a lot of excitement, making a conscious choice to move forward, regardless of the things that are falling apart in your life. You've got Neptune and Pisces here. Neptune, you know, Neptune um, is all about the deepest depths of our emotions, of the ocean, right? It rules the sea. The sea is water. Water is cups. Cups is emotions. It's feelings, right? But Neptune, Neptune can also talk about delusion. It can also talk about illusions. And it can also talk about the psychic mystic realm. So maybe ask yourself, where are you um, maybe getting stuck in the delusions? in the illusions and where are you not tapping into or are tapping into your Neptunian energy of psychic, of being able to feel very deeply, okay? Maybe you're afraid to feel. Maybe you're afraid to move on. Maybe you're afraid, right? Who knows? Fear keeps coming in, but this doesn't feel so much like you're in the energy of fear. It, it's almost like you... 
even if you are in the energy of feel fear, you would benefit from, benefit from being in the energy of opportunity, of complete surrendering and needing to have control of outcomes, right? You got true love in the six of wands. So love is here for you, okay? The opportunity to have that ten of cups, a ten of pentacles, that loving relationship, it's available to you, okay? It's available. You got double tower, right? But sometimes we try to hold on maybe to relationships or connections far longer after their expiry date thinking that that's the person we need to marry and there's nobody else in this world. The reality is, is we have multiple partners that we can connect with in this universe. The six of wands and true love does tell me though that romance is imminent for you. you. New love is just around the river bend or just around the corner. You have that opportunity to embrace it. However, you have to have heart, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe it's with a partner, maybe it's with yourself because now we have a page of cups pages are young they're immature they, they lack the maturity the knowledge the experience and the page of cups in this imagery looks to be somebody who is getting frustrated and writing stuff and continues to rip it apart so maybe you need to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with yourself about what love truly looks like for you, Sagittarius. What kind of romance do you want? What kind of connection do you want? And then passion, allow your heart and soul to sing for joy with the devil. Where are you holding yourself back? Maybe through narratives, maybe through stories, maybe through old connections that aren't allowing you to be able to have this tower moment so that you can welcome all this new opportunity into your life. All right, Sagittarius, if you're interested in a private live one hour reading with me, take a look at the description box below to book. If you want to shop over at Starsea and pick up your modern day amulets, really exciting news, necklaces are going live this week. I'm wearing a 14 karat gold chain with a clear quartz pendant. I'm also wearing this piece that has a bunch of gems together along with the rose quartz. Um, and then the bracelet that's matching, it's got the evil eye there with a bunch of different uh, gems together with actual gold or gold filled chain and then the OG bracelets, all different types of pieces, crystals blended together for love, abundance, wealth, groundedness, protection, whatever you're looking for. Link in the description box below to be able to shop there. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for supporting me, for shopping over at Starsea or for booking private readings with me. Sending you so much love. See you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.